Hi everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. I do appreciate you taking time to watch these videos as always. It's a bright but chilly morning here on the Essex Riviera, but I'm gonna start doing some anti-fouling today. So I'll show you why in just a second, but there's some key kit that I'm going to need. Safety glasses, I don't want it going in my eyes. And as you can see, when I've applied some before, there are small specks on it already. Um, I'm gonna have this little mask on. It is quite, um, a strong smell gives me a bit of a headache so I'm gonna just wear this so I don't get a headache for later screwdriver to undo the can safety glass uh, gloves because I don't want any on my skin if I can help it um, I've got a paintbrush just to use get to the um, hard to reach areas where I can't get a roller I'm not gonna use the main roller tray but I'm gonna use this infill I had at home just because I only need to do a few little bits and again and I'll show you why in just a second and obviously the roller so the reason why I'm only going to do small bits this morning is because, as you can see, I've already put some anti-foul on everywhere, but there are some bits I couldn't get to previously that I do need to get to. But I'm having the boat lifted um, in the next week or so, so these chocks can be moved so I can get to all the bits under here that I couldn't get to when I was cleaning up the hole. So I've got here, down here, the bow of the boat, and same the other side. So again, I'm just gonna be getting all along these sides, all under these edges, because I don't know where the chocks are gonna go. So I'm just gonna do that this morning, get under here, give it a few more coats under the mini kill here, and uh, come on to the right. all the antifan now so I moved all the chocks and painted all under the areas where the chocks were it's now had its second and third bit of antifan everywhere so again move all these chocks out of the way make sure I can get round of near the water inlet and out it for the for the heads compartment Also help one of the uh, other boaters boats doing the same thing with all the chocks, so it's all done. But one of the other things we did the other day actually, we noticed um, the zips on the enclosure were flapping about and they were starting to mark up the gel coat. So I'm not sure if you can see it, put some heat shrink over all of the uh, zip tabs to stop it rubbing. And there, so every, everywhere where there's a zip that can come into contact with the gel coat, we've done that because really noticed it in the back here, where this really flaps about when the, obviously this will go forward when the it's in the water and the engine's forward out the water. These are really flapping about, and uh, go on there, um, and they were really marking up the gel coat, huge bits of uh, black marks up there. Thankfully the polish got it out. But um, yeah, so every zip has now got this heat shrink on it to try and stop that, that friction point. That's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. Apologies I couldn't get you uh, pictures of me doing all of the anti-fouling. It's just that as you can hear, the weather's been horrendous and I just wanted to get it done. So now there's only one job left to do and that's to polish up all the gel coat before it goes back in the water, which is going to be in approximately two weeks time. So I'll film that as well. 
in the meantime if you've got any questions or comments drop them in on the channel and I'll try and get to them uh, as soon as I can but if you like what you're seeing and hearing please do uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button it really would be appreciated but until next time from a windy uh, Essex uh, take care and I'll see you on the next video bye bye